this is Anton Fukori demonstrating di a diagnosis uh, of a scapular dissociation. Uh, generally, it occurs on, uh, upon uh, uh, falling an outstretched uh, right uh, hand. Uh, the patient is complaining of uh, wrist pain. They tend to be tender right here in the area of the dorsal aspect of the wrist uh, between escape for lunate uh, junction. Uh, if you feel this is tubercle, approximately centimeter distal, centimeter ulnar, there's that soft spot. Uh, and they tend to be tender in this uh, uh, position and in this area. Uh, this is one maneuver to determine if uh, there's instability. Uh, the uh, thumb is placed on the scaphoid tubercle. And again, remember that the scaphoid association is dissociated from the lunate, disconnected. So as you flex the wrist, you can, with your thumb, literally push the lunate back dorsally in a Watson-type maneuver, and you'll feel a click. If you look at the x-ray, uh, there's a gap here. It's called Terry Thomas sign. Um, and it's generally not this big. It could be more subtle, or it may not show much at all. And on the lateral view, you'll see the lunate is uh, uh, tilted uh, dorsally, and the scaphoid is tilted palmarly. Uh, and uh, so this is a positive uh, Terry Thomas sign, and uh, this is a DC deformity of the wrist.